It is April uh, 15th, I believe. And this morning I'm gonna get started filling this tray. Um, I have seeds in here from, um, it was called, let's see, where did I go? Seed Sack. I have Seed Sack seeds and I have um, Own Grown Fruit. It's a company called Own Grown. Um, I don't know if you've ever uh, gotten this <clears throat> before, but I have several seeds from them that I'm starting as and, well. Uh, yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along for it. Um, like I said, it is Saturday morning. It's about seven in the morning right now. I've been up for a little bit already uh, with the kids actually since about 530. <laughs> I'm going to get on this and hopefully get it done quickly. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you a little bit of that. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it would really help my channel grow. And uh, if you're not already, follow me over on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm, I'm fairly active on Facebook, but I'm really active on Instagram. So I hope to see you there. Um, and yeah, and check out the blog. The blog is up and running. Um, I don't have a whole lot of posts up yet, but I will soon. Um, it's very much a passion project of mine, but it does take some time to grow. Um, and that's just rootsandarrowshomestead.com. So uh, yeah, let me know if you stop by and I will see you then.
they are upstairs playing right now. Um, I have two boys and two girls. Um, the, the boys are four and almost two, and my girls are three and almost two. And they are playing with each other upstairs right now. But I am downstairs. My husband's upstairs with him as well. Um, I'm downstairs and I'm about to get my hands in this dirt <laughs> or soil. Um, and what I'm doing today is I am going to, I'm going to do a test, if you will. Um, in my family, we eat a lot of potatoes. And so what I'm trying to do, I already have some potatoes started, but I didn't think to do this with those. Honestly, I didn't think about it. But today I went to Starbucks after my daughter's gymnastics class. I went to Starbucks and I noticed they had coffee grounds for your garden. That's what it's labeled for. And so <laughs> I thought, well, you know, I'm already, I was already doing this this morning. I, I, I showed a clip of that in, a, in the last video. So this is this afternoon and I'm doing this video. What I'm going to do is I have um, one part of, it's miracle Grow compost uh, for vegetables is what it's labeled as. And then I have a professional mix potting soil. And so I'm doing one part compost, one part potting soil, and one part uh, vermiculite, which is, ooh, it's trying to fall over on me. I just got this off of Amazon, Garden Prime Vermiculite. And um, it says improves germination, maintains moisture and nutrients. Anyway, so I'm doing that three part soil and I have two grow bags, which are these, and they do have the flap that, you know, um, you can open it and, and get potatoes out is what it is. If you don't know, these grow bags are really great. <laughs> I also got, I've got pretty much everything I'm going to show you. I got off of Amazon. Um, I don't really go anywhere with four kids being at home all day, every day. Um, and if I do, I have my kids with me. And so I don't really get to go to like a garden center and just browse for an hour or two or whatever. So that being said, pretty much everything I get is from Amazon. Everything I use is from Amazon. So anyway, I've got my three parts here. I've got my grow bags. I've got my seed potatoes, which actually they just came in today. It was really funny. I got home from Starbucks with my coffee grounds and my seed potatoes came in the mail. And this is uh, Jameson Brothers um, uh, first early. It says Red Duke of York. Um, we eat this a lot. I have never, ever grown potatoes, ever. So that is um, an interesting thing. But I am excited to try this. Um, it says on this little card, this is such a really ha like handy card. It's so cool. Uh, especially for someone who has never actually planted potatoes before. Um, it does say to plant them like as soon as you get it, basically. As soon as you can after purchase. Um, and a little interesting fact I thought was a Red Duke of York, um, actually came about from Holland in 1942 and it was found among the white Dukes of Holland potatoes. It was found in a crop. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this potato is said, I mean, I've used it. I've never grown it. I've used it. It doesn't break down um, like when you boil it and we eat a lot of mashed potatoes. My kids, one of their absolute favorite meals is mashed potatoes. It's kind of like a shepherd's pie, but with, with chicken. Uh, we put chicken, um, like sometimes I'll even boil the chicken with the potatoes. That's pretty good. Uh, but it's boiled potatoes, boiled carrots. You could boil that together as well with chicken shredded into it or cut up really tiny. Um, green peas. I mean, it's basically like a vegetable dump. I mean, you could put anything in it and just mix it in the mashed potatoes. And even the babies, they've been eating it since they were like six, seven months old. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I am trying to grow a lot of potatoes. But um, I'm sorry, I digress. I get sidetracked very easily. Um, <laughs> But that being said, I'm going to use this mix in the grow bags with the potatoes. And the only difference, I'm going to make two now. I'm going to make two. And here's where the test comes in. I got these grounds from Starbucks. And I have read so many things about just sprinkle it on top. Just mix it into your compost. It works great for your potatoes, tomatoes, whatever, vegetables. <laughs> 
And so I'm gonna test it with potatoes this season and see if I like it because why not? Like it's a fertilizer at the very least and it won't, I hope it won't uh, like kill my potatoes. Now using coffee grounds, I have heard a lot of <laughs> mixed, I guess, um, advice on using it with seeds, actual like tiny, tiny seeds and seedlings. I've heard that it could kill them or, you know, stunt germination. So with potatoes, potatoes already have eyes. They already are like starting the process. And so I thought maybe it would be a little bit better with potatoes. Now, I will be honest with you. I don't really know how much of this to use. Um, so we're going to go with like a couple of scoops in the bag and see what that does. I don't really know. And then I will put like as time goes, I will put a little bit like a sprinkle on top. But I am going to mix them into this mix. I'm going to put this mix in one bag and then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Add the coffee grounds and put that in the second bag. And then I will keep you updated on how it goes. Yeah, I think that was the point of this video. Um, so I am going to get started. I'm going to get my hands in this soil and I will let you watch the process. So yeah, thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in a little bit.
guys. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, and what you just watched was the majority of the video was from the 15th, which was 10 days ago. Now, I have yet to figure out a schedule of how I'm going to do this. I know I'm going to do it, just not entirely sure how. And so what happens is I will film when I'm going to do something such as the potatoes. And then when I get a chance to sit down and edit it, it might be seven or eight days later. Um, that's how it's working out right now. Just because I do have four kids. I am in school full time. I do have a blog. I do, you know, I, I try to cook from scratch, which takes time. And I do, I just have a lot going on. I really do. Um, that being said, YouTube is a priority for me. The garden, I'm in there almost every day, even if I don't film it, you know, the garden is something I love to do. And so when I do actual projects, such as the potatoes or repotting things, I will try to film that and put that in a video for you guys. Um, YouTube, I'm hoping will grow. And I know the only way that's gonna grow is for me to get these videos out there. So what I think I'm gonna do moving forward is try to put up at least one video a week. I'm gonna start with one video a week and hopefully when my classes die down, I'll be graduating at the end of this year. And so when my, gra when my classes die down, I'll be able to post more. But for now, I'm just trying to get as much content as I can, especially during the season. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the way it's working out right now. Um, that being said, I did want to just pop on here and explain why the dates didn't really match up from the date that I said it was to the date that you're actually seeing it. Hi guys, had to press pause for a minute. Um, my son came down here asking me if I was going to make the French toast, <laughs> which I am making French toast this morning. So there's that. But, um, yeah, so he was also curious about who I was talking to. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Yeah, I will try to be a little more consistent, even if it's just once a week um, from here on out. Probably, I'm still going to have to nail down like what day is going to be best to post. And a lot of that depends on when I'll be able to edit, but I'll figure all that out. I just wanted to say that, yes, you may see a video or two here and there where I'm like, the date is, and it was like 10 days ago. Uh, but that's why, so... Anyway, I better get in there and cook these French toasts because I've got some hungry people waiting. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one.